three hours later. So today I'm bringing you a helmet video about the helmet I just finished a mount for. Uh, this is the Scorpion uh, EXO AT950. We make a line of chin mounts that are made specifically for individual helmets. And we've made them for like 70 different ones. You can see I've got the Showy, which is a video I need to make. Next, uh, this one's for the Shoei VFXW helmet. That's not specific to that. But basically what we've done is we've created these high quality 3D printed mounts that allow you to mount up specifically to the individual helmet and then do things like get enough uh, tilt back angle so that way you can get that good parallel view of the horizon so you're not looking straight down at the ground, you're not looking up in the air. It allows you to get the camera in there at an angle so you can get the best footage. We make these uh, mounts so that you can tilt back your camera far enough so that you can get it level with the top of the eye port which is usually where you're looking when you're riding especially when you're standing up and being more aggressive on the bike. Uh, the nice thing about these mounts specifically is since they are custom made for the individual helmet you have things like these adjustable uh, closing air vents right that's something that you don't want to block uh, if you got like the cheap Amazon mask like chin mount for this, it would basically mask over this and you wouldn't be able to open and close this. You don't have to tilt that forward, you can get a finger in here uh, and you'd be able to open and close that. This is also a modular helmet, so there's a latch underneath here and you have to pull it and that would allow you to open this up, right? So I guess if you wanted to still film with that, you could do this, <laughs> which kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, but my point is that it, it doesn't get into the way of any of the like the form or function of the of the helmet, so you can still use everything uh, like you would. So so many of the different kinds of mounts out there um, kind of clip on from the bottom or mask over the front, and it. It's so uh, one size fits all, it doesn't allow you to use any of the, the functions of the helmets. So my other favorite feature about these mounts uh, is the fact that we make them out of a rubberized material. And the reason we started doing that is because it's impact resistant. So this stuff is incredibly tough. We've smashed it with a hammer, a sledgehammer. We've run it over with a truck. We've dropped bricks on it. Um, this stuff does not break on impact, which is really nice. I think if you were to get into a, an accident and go over the bars or crash in some way, you wouldn't have to worry about this mount breaking. You probably break your GoPro, you might even break your neck, but you're probably not gonna break our mounts. No relationship between breaking your mount, your neck and our mounts. It, I think the most likely thing that could possibly happen is that you could rip off the mount and, and the, the tape and uh, we sell replacement tape. Quick note on that though, we do glue our tape on um, using the Gorilla Clear Grip glue. It's a rubberized glue as well and it helps stick the tape to the mounts so that they're very secure. It's, it just makes it so much stronger. You don't glue the mount itself to the helmet. You glue the tape to the mount so that way the tape sticks really well. It's incredibly tough material. You don't think you ever have to worry about these things falling off. Uh, we do offer a lifetime warranty under any circumstances if you break the mount, uh, with the exception of if you're trying to mount it on the wrong helmet. Uh, we've incorporated these tick marks here on the side that you can see. These allow you to see what kind of tip back angle you're getting uh, if you want to be consistent. So I, when I'm riding, I like to put it on here and line it up with the top of the iPort and call it good. But if you're sitting down, say like on an ATV trip for a long distance, you might want to tip it forward and, and get a consistent view of it that way so you can look at those tick marks and understand where you want to put the, that. So a cool feature that we've, uh, it's specific to our mounts and, and really not any others that I've ever seen is that what we've done is we've gone and we've switched the uh, the screw direction for it to go in this direction. And the reason is because these newer GoPros, the Hero 8, 9, and um, 10, all have this side door. Uh, and when you're having to deal with the head of the screw, it makes it a little bit difficult to get in there and pop it and pull it open. It allows you to change the battery uh, without having to pull the GoPro out entirely. 
We've gotten a lot of questions about whether or not um, our mounts work with the media mod, um, and obviously they do. With our reverse screw direction, um, the cutout underneath that GoPro has put in here for where the screw is supposed to go isn't on the side, but it actually doesn't really matter because you're actually able to get more uh, of a finger on the end of the screw than you would on this side anyways. And that's because all the electronics for the media mod are here on the side, so the side's actually a little bit thicker. So it's hard to get your fingers in there to actually unscrew it. So it works out better to have our reverse screw direction anyways. Uh, but yes, Clearly you can use the media mod and it's not gonna affect this at all. The last thing I wanted to touch on is mounting the camera upside down. Traditionally, the reason for mounting a camera on the chin of your helmet uh, is so that you get that lowest possible point of view uh, while still having um, the camera mounted to your head so you get that first person point of view. You can definitely mount this upside down. We've made it so that it can be mounted right side up. That being said, uh, if you mount it upside down, it is you know, obviously lower than it would be, um, but you do run the risk of it hitting you in the chest. Um, so it could tip your camera up. I run it right side up and I think it works fine that way. But just to prove the point, uh, obviously you can, you can mount it upside down. So. I want to talk really quick about wide chin mounting. So like a lot of times people put mounts on top of their helmets. That was the way it was done for, for a lot of years before we came along and disrupted the GoPro mounting industry for game changers. So the reason you want to mount your GoPro on the chin of your helmet, uh, there's, there's a couple of reasons. So one is that it gives you the lowest possible point of view and that allows you to get that really deeper perspective on the terrain. It allows you to see obstacles that you're coming up on as if they were that real size. When you look at the GoPro footage, you're not gonna be like, oh my God, it was so much bigger than that, right? The second reason is that it's centered to your point of view. So it's not like that side of the helmet point of view that, that makes you look like you're lopsided and makes you all confused. Thirdly, it's protected. I feel like everybody has run a GoPro on top of their helmet at one point, taking a branch and like it knocked the GoPro straight up in the air and you get like three hours of, of GoPro footage of the sky, which is always fun. This allows you to know that your GoPro is protected and uh, it's not gonna get knocked off. But also like if you were to take a crash, if you were to go over the bars, the odds of you turning your head are pretty good. So I think that your GoPro is more likely to be protected um, when it's right in front of your face as opposed to on top or to the side. The last thing, the fourth reason uh, is audio reception. Now on ADV helmets, it's probably a little bit more difficult to get audio pickup, but it is right in front of your mouth. So it's gonna be a clearer audio pickup than it is if it were on top of your head. Um, and for if you're doing kind of motor vlogging or anything like that, uh, that can sometimes be helpful. I know with the, the medium mod, it actually picks up the audio really well on like a dirt bike helmet because um, you know, it's just, uh, it's just right there and you don't have to worry about mics or anything like that or external wiring. Wait, and there was oil leaking out of here. Where? Here? Where, wasn't there? When you, when you punched yeah, it? Yeah, I punched it here. And that I was... did it again. Just now, huh? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to talk about what you're going to get when you buy one of our mounts real quick. So this uh, is the box that we sell these in. Uh, you're going to get a couple of cool stickers which we're coming out with new stickers soon, which I'm excited about, that are also going to match our shirts. So you're gonna get a mount, uh, got the double-sided mounting tape and everything on it. You're gonna get a cleaning pad and you're going to get a screw. Um, clean the helmet before you put it on, especially if yours looks like my helmet does and it's all covered in mud. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, mount the mount up to the helmet and figure out where it's supposed to go. So these are specifically made to mount up to the helmet. That means they have one place where they're going to mount up. And with these rubberized mounts, like we used to make them out of this hard plastic. With the rubberized mounts, you can kind of fudge that a little bit. I wouldn't recommend that you do like absolutely figure out where it's supposed to go and then mount it to that spot because that's where it was intended to be. And that's where you're gonna get the most amount of surface area where it's actually gonna stick. Pull back on the wings put them in and then let it off and, and then just press down on it. And that's going to make it secure and, and make it so it's not gonna fall off. The last thing I wanna mention uh, is this 90 degree adapter. And this allows you to mount the GoPro at a 90 degree angle so that you can shoot natively for phone screens and whatnot. Uh, this is also gonna come with an extra screw. 
This is sold separately. It's not included with our mounts, but it is something that you can buy if you're shooting GoPro footage and you want to post it on things like YouTube Shorts and Instagram and TikTok, those sorts of platforms where you're looking at it on a native vertical phone screen. Uh, that's going to be important. Check out our links in the description below. That'll link you to this helmet specifically, and you can check out all of our other wonderful things like 90 degree adapters and t-shirts and podcasts. And thank you.